What's up everybody, JJ here, and today we're checking out the Mintion laser camera. This is basically like Octoprint, but now for laser engravers. This allows you to remote control and monitor your prints from anywhere, auto time lapses, and if you connect it to Lightburn, you can even auto arrange your engravings and cuts before the prints start. It's one of those kind of obvious products that once I saw it at Murph, I was like, oh, I've got to check this out. This seems like it makes laser engraving so much safer and so much smarter. Most 3D printers nowadays are coming with built-in Wi-Fi cameras like this, so I don't know why laser engravers haven't caught up with it. And since they sent two of these over, I will be giving both of these away at the end of this video. We'll cover the details later. So first off, let's start with the unboxing and setup process. A lot of the parts are how you're going to mount the camera because it does need to be mounted pretty high up above your engraving surface. It has a C-clamp and all these arms that can attach to the laser. It also comes with this separate tripod. You could mount it separately, kind of looking at it from a side. So depending on how you have your laser set up or what type of laser you have, you might need to use a different configuration. It has a lot of cables in the box because one cable powers the camera, one cable powers the flame sensor, Another cable needs to run from your camera down to your laser engraver. And then a separate cable runs from the camera over to your laptop if you want to connect Lightburn to the camera. Kind of a lot of setup, but once you get it set up, the features are really nice to use. The quick start guide here steps you through all the steps of getting it connected up to Wi-Fi and connected to the app. Sometimes products don't come with really good quick start guides, but this one really does step you through everything there. And there's several voice commands that come out of the actual camera to step you through the setup process. So I found two real use cases I would actually use with this camera. First is connecting it to Lightburn to align laser files. So the laser camera and laser engraver are each connected directly to the laptop, and that laptop is going to be actually controlling the laser. So if you don't use Lightburn, then you might be really missing out on using this use case. The first time I ran the calibration in Lightburn, it didn't work, and as you can see, it didn't cut where it was supposed to. And then I just re-ran the calibration and it worked near perfectly. This is super useful if you want to go back and cut something out. Or if you cut something and it didn't really cut all the way through and you want to rerun it, but you've moved the piece of wood, this way you can reline up the project really easily. I also think it's super useful to be able to use all the available area of wood in this case. I was able to realign this cat shape to fully utilize the available wood. The second real use case requires a different configuration, but it's super useful for easily uploading and then rerunning files also for time lapses. In this configuration, the laser camera is directly connected to the engraver, and you don't need your laptop in the same room even. This could be really useful if you're like me and you have your laser engraver in your garage, and you don't want to carry your laptop out there every single time. Or if you're running a business and are often rerunning the same jobs over and over again. Then you can just put the material in the correct place, then tell the app to run the G-code file. With this second setup is also how you can take time-lapse videos. It comes with three time-lapse modes, normal time-lapse video, clean time-lapse, and timer time-lapse. I think normal time-lapse would work better if you didn't have the laser cam directly mounted overhead. Clean time-lapse is really cool to watch because the laser moves to a preset point throughout the job and takes a snapshot. I'm not totally sure if timer mode would really be useful for a laser, but it could be useful for really long jobs where you don't want the laser to ever stop to take a picture. It would make things move a little quicker. So since they did send me two of these, and I really don't need either of them, I'm going to be giving them away to YouTube members or Patreon supporters. There's links for either of those down in the description below. I'll create an interest request post on both of those sites. And then at the end of this month, end of September 2023, I'll be giving them away to whoever wants them. That's, I think, the best way to make sure it really goes to a real person who's really going to use it and not just someone who's going to resell it. Since I never really use my laser engravers, I'm going to be selling them locally and sticking to 3D printer videos from now on. I'll cover shipping costs within the US, but if it is international, I'll need to see how expensive it is before I commit to totally covering that cost. The first winner will get the new inbox version, and the second winner, if you want it, this one is slightly used. I used it for this whole review. If you don't want it, We'll just pass it on to whoever does want it. I wanted to use this as a way to give back to the community members that have really helped me along the way to help me keep creating these videos. So hopefully these can go to people who are really going to get the most out of it. Overall, I feel like these laser cameras are a real upgrade to a laser engraver in both safety and usability. These lasers are still very dangerous machines, but this way you can monitor it from outside of an enclosure or in a separate room. Don't start a laser engraving and leave the house. It's still not as safe as a 3D printer. It can still start a fire and things still can go wrong. But this allows you to be slightly removed from the laser engraver while it's running. That way you're not going to look at the laser or breathe in all the fumes from the laser engraving process. So I think that kind of wraps up my thoughts on these laser cameras. They're really cool and kind of a no-brainer product. Like I said at the beginning, when I saw it at Murph, I was like, oh yeah, that makes a ton of sense. That's why 
I hate using laser engravers because they're lacking all these smart features that are now coming standard in 3D printers. But I think that covers everything. If you have any more questions, let me know in the comments down below. And as always, go out there, create something amazing today, and I'll see you in the next video.